All right, we hiked up from the valley down there and have come to the mine. Interesting setup here. Uh, trussle there with the rocks and given how finely ground that stuff is, I'd say those are tailings. Here we have an ore chute, fairly unique one. The bin right there. And of course the ore would come down here and when they're ready to dump it out, they would lower that. Uh, there's no ore in the chute at the present. So let's get up and check out the mine. All right, there's the attic right there. That's our stuff on the ground there. And you can see the rail coming out here. A little junction right here. You see this rail running off this way. I'm guessing uh, waste rock since uh, I don't see anything else over here. I'm working over there too. That's just surface stuff. And then of course the uh, other set of track right there goes to the bin there <clears throat> that we saw from below. And uh, this is defunct. So again, those do look like tailings, but that's so old, who knows. Obviously, it hasn't been used in a while, so it doesn't even have track going on it anymore. Just curious about the ore that might be in the bin. Hard to tell much from that. All right, let's head on in. All right, just inside the portal here, and uh, it looks good. Let's go see where this goes. I love seeing the rail. That's always a plus for me. I'm a big rail fan. This is the strap rail too. It's not the uh, solid hardcore rail. What they would do is they'd put the, uh, the metal strips there on top of the wood rather than using full duty rail. Sometimes they did it because it was cheaper. Sometimes they did it to save a uh, hassle of hauling heavy railing. For a long distance because obviously that doesn't last as long as regular full duty rail. Uh, little raise here going up, looks like it terminates there, and that keeps going this way. Uh, a bunch of block and tackle right there. Some rope. Uh, that's backfill. I'll go check that later. I want to see where this main uh, attic goes here first. That looks like an ore cart. That is an ore cart, but that is a very odd looking ore cart. I guess it fits the, uh, the attic though. Tall and skinny. I guess that's the requirement inside here. There's a uh, turntable right here. That is pretty awesome. And there's stuff going off in all different directions here. There's uh, something there, something there, something there, something there, and something here. Um, take a look at this ore car first. It doesn't look like it's even been used. No, it hasn't. This hasn't even been used. Huh. How well, odd. Huh, that is odd. Well, that's pretty cool. Very easily there. Well, I'm gonna start the left here and uh, work my way around. Got some uh, timbering right here. See the rocks peeking through. Obviously, this is necessary. Um, 
can see some stuff's been taken out down there. And looking up, there was an ore chute here at one time, as you can see, but it's obviously plugged. Actually, I think there's an ore chute on this side too. You see it part of the manway way up there too to service this, so there must be some pretty good stopes on either side of that. That's old though, that's the uh I thought those aren't like milled logs, those are just boards from outside. Huh. That is totally and heavily loaded too. That is fully loaded above us, so I'm not gonna make a lot of loud noise here because I don't want to bring this down on top of me. Um okay. Take some bad ground here. Something running back there. Okay, that just dead ends right there. There's some boards and stuff tossed back there, and that's it. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Looking over here, this is just backfilled there. And then there's a little stope above us there. And then this is either caved or backfilled here. So let's go back and head down the next branch. All right, I've got the ore car there and we just went down that one to the right. So now we're gonna head up and see what the deal is here. <clears throat> it looks like this is a stope or maybe a raise. I see a ladder going up. I just climbed up the ladder there, and I have to say it's a lot more extensive than I expected. Uh, you have a stope here, it runs up there, and it runs way over my head here, as you can see, and then back up there. I'll check that in a minute. See the angle going up there? Uh, yeah, what am I trying to say? It's fairly steep getting up there, but I think I can do it. Perhaps most interesting to me though, is this archway right here. That's all rock, not being held up by much. And there's a chute going up at beyond. Uh, it just terminates a short distance beyond that. But I thought that was really cool looking right there. All right, I was shooting down there a minute ago. And I uh, climbed up here, as you look across the way, and uh, anybody recognize this stuff? This is why there's some bad ground in here. Not really what I want to see directly overhead. Here, all this stuff crumbling. Um, looking straight ahead, that's where those ore chutes are dropping down right there. It we looked up on the uh, the first side just we went down right there at least one of them anyway so don't really like the ground here so I'm gonna get out and uh, head down the next drift coming back down again and I've got that stone arch directly overhead right there and that's that that rays going up past it that's really cool I really think that's neat Okay, the ore car is there. I'm heading down the next drift. You can see there's a little barrel there. Some of that strap rail right there. And the added is, or excuse me, the drift is going this way. A little pocket cleared out right there. Interesting minerals here. use this way. Interesting, see the contact zone right there? This is obviously a very dis dis yeah, very distinct from that. Interesting. That's very distinct. Huh. I think somebody gouged out a sample right there. 
This looks like mud almost. Huh. Wow, the mineralization here. That's pretty impressive. I didn't think much of this one, but still run back. Still running back. And what do we have up here? Looks like we've got some gobbing back filling that session there. A little side pocket here. the end right there and I was just checking to see if there's like a winds or anything but that is it all right we just went down that drift we're back at that main junction now there's the ore cart for your point of reference uh, I was looking at this right here in front of me and this is a flat car you can see where the, the wheels go in there is that's what I think that is. Now the rail keeps going this way, so I'm curious what's down here. Um, oh, there's also a rail there, and you can see they punch through the uh, side of the adit here. Look at that mineralization. Wow, I'm not surprised they're interested in this site. Huh. Um, and then this is where that barrel is through there so let's keep going okay that looks like that connects that what is this here okay this does connect to that drift we just look down there's ore cart there so we'll get this later for now we need to be consistent Oh, that's cool. Old pick sitting there. Good stuff. Uh, or shoot here. As you can see, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Oh, <laughs> that is a loaded, loaded or shoot. So I'm not gonna stand here too long. Uh, you see it running up there. Very heavily loaded here. There's some bad ground in a few places in this mine. Uh, okay, that runs ahead for a way. I'll climb over this and we'll pick up over there. All right, climbed over that cave section back there. And we're continuing along here. Kind of featureless and boring, so I waited to turn the camera on. There is a cross cut running off there though. Just dead ends right there. This is an older mine, you can tell by the size. It's definitely smaller. <coughs> Pretty dusty back here. Oh man, it's getting really small. Still going. Wrapping our way through. I don't know if they're following a vein or what they were doing here. I don't see much sign of that, but they're squirming all over the place like a snake or something. All right, that rock just changed. Got some of that mud looking rock again. There is a tumbleweed right there, which means there must be something above us. Okay, 
tumbleweed there. I uh, feel airflow. That must run up to the outside right there. And it's dark now outside, so we wouldn't see the sunlight. But that's that's where that's gonna go. I'll uh, turn the camera off to crawl through there, and then I'll uh, I'll pick up again. All right, I just crawled over that and uh, I'm picking up. I drift again here. Still hunched over. You can tell a lot of material is washed down from above. Uh, it's very low in here. Okay, this is kind of weird. There's a weird little room here. There's a drift going there. A little shelf right there. Something going back there. And then, uh, See how squared off this room is? Isn't that kind of weird? <laughs> I'm not used to seeing something like this. Huh. Um, but I won't spend too long admiring the contours of the room. I see some magazines down here, but they've been in the mud. Got a jar of something right there. Uh, let's see, something about the Lutheran Church. Uh, I think these magazines are toast. Let's go to the census report. Uh, here we go. A lot of stuff about the Lutheran Church here. But, how about that date? Look at that. 1938. That was a long time ago. Well, this, uh, seems there's a devout miner here. Or maybe somebody wanted the miner to be devout and he just abandoned the magazines here. Either way, that's pretty neat. Um, got the remains of uh, some sh work table or workbench and dead ends right there. Looks like the uh, rodents have made use of the magazines. And let's see, there's more down here. These have really been worked over by the rodents. Uh, these are too, too worked over to uh, tell much about. You can tell they're old though. You don't see stuff like that nowadays. Oh, I keep finding more. Saturday Evening Post. That's old as well. No dates left, I'm afraid. Uh, that looks like a lassie right there. I see the razor for 69 cents. It's certainly. Oh, look at this. A Schlitz beer ad. That's really cool. I'll chew to hell, but there are some interesting things in these magazines here. Um, let me turn the camera off and see if I can open these up at all and find anything interesting. Okay, so this dates to December 1933, and this says Chew Tempters, which I'm guessing is gum since they've got spearmint flavor right there uh let's talk about let's talk of shoe feature in america selby's ge lamps 
Oh, they call it, okay, they call him Ed Edison Mazda, which, you know, of course, Edison was involved in the founding of General Electric. We got Pond's Powder here. Mother and daughter, two ages with the same complexion. Wow, this is really cool. Paralyzed pores. Wow, sounds like a big problem. Okay, I opened up the American magazine, and this dates from August 1938. Check out some of these advertisements. New Mexico School of Mines. It's very timely. Now, College for Women. If any, want, if any of you want to read this stuff, you can just pause the video. Horse and Buggy Days by John Kieran. Doctors die of diabetes. Hmm. Dog's life in Hollywood. Well, I could spend a long time here looking at that stuff. But we still have a mine. It needs to be explored. And let's see. Looks like I might have a raise overhead here. Nope. Just a little stoop here. And see the minerals right there, they're here. Oh, that bat freaked me out. Um a little stoop right here. Runs up there. That bat's wing touched my ear when it flew by. That's what startled me. Alright. I'll duck under this. Ah. Man, it keeps going. This, uh, this mine is bigger than I expected. It keeps going there. And let's see, this goes back and stops there. A little pocket cleared out here. Kind of weird are these rails here. I wonder if that's saying like don't go ahead or something. Keeps going that way. Huh. Or maybe somebody just bent them up because they're bored. I see. Let's see. Like bettles. 1933. Abe Moss in 1886. And then Dick Allen, looks like COC, 1958. Yeah, this is an old mine. Initials. Still going. Huh. 
Okay, that's just bent up rail. That's, that's not indicative of anything, obviously. Uh, okay, a little pocket right there. That was a bat that just flew across the front. And that's the end right there. And they obviously backfilled that rather than haul that stuff out, which is understandable since it stops there. Well, I'm pretty impressed with this mine so far. Um, I have to say. And you know what's interesting is, you see that strap rail here? Obviously it ran all the way through, but the stuff that washed down, that raised neck connected to the surface covered it up. Also some backfill and stuff here too. So I'm gonna head back and we'll pick up with that last drift. So I'm coming back past that raise that goes to the outside. I guess you could say that was a shaft too. Uh, since it goes to the surface, but who knows, they may probably use it as an ore pass or something. Anyway, uh, I noticed that there was a mummified kangaroo rat here. So now you can say you've seen a mummified kangaroo rat. And your day will be complete. I'm guessing the fall killed him since he uh, didn't go far from the bottom here. Alright, we're back at that ore cart. And got the last drift to explore here. That's where we looked through before. That's where we actually walked through before. Remember that rail right there? A little nowhere pocket right there. There is a ladder here, runs up to a raise right there. Uh, let's see if this goes. Okay, looks like it uh, runs up there. Let me check. All right, it runs up to there, and you can see that's caved, unfortunately. Um, I can tell there's a raise come up there as well. Uh, it's too bad that's caved. All right, I just climbed up the ladder there. And for now, continuing down this drift. Uh, little pocket right there, they cleared out. What is up here? Okay, um, that stops right there. There's the winds right here. Okay, just stops right there. That is the bottom there. Obviously exploratory in nature. Or sampling or something. And then crawling through here. That's the end right there. All right, this is that one we bypassed on the way in. I said, check it out later. Fortunately, my buddy checked it out. Said it just goes back there and bends around and that's it. So, I see the bat just flew out. Um, so we're not missing anything at all there. All right, just inside the portal, and we are off to a very good start because I already see an ore car. There's one advantage to hiking a long way to get to a mine. Is you get to see cool stuff like this. Okay, the ore car is just back there. I had to climb over that to uh, get back here so I turned the camera off and put it away because it was quite a crawl and got to an interesting uh, false floor situation here which uh, extends back that way there's a little stope overhead here and that just runs up to there it doesn't go very far um, I will give this false floor a shot. 
and we'll see what is back here. I'll even leave the camera on so if I fall, you can laugh at me. Okay, that first one was the worst. Um, looking straight down, see the block and tackle right there. And that looks like the bottom right there, actually. I think they're just hauling stuff up from down there. Huh. Hard to hold the camera steady and the light steady at the same time. Continuing on, let's say we're on a fault because I don't see the uh, flat, smooth surface on my left. That's what that normally indicates. See some stalls right there. The backfield section right here. This gobbing. Uh, it just goes back there and stops. here that uh, drops down there that always been taking some stuff out of the bottom of the attic or the floor of the attic right there that carries on across and I think it stops right there but I have to go across and check all right I just climbed across from over there um, I'm making my way up the other side. There's a little, uh, I don't even know, I'm too tired to even think about what you would call this. A uh, little area dropping down here they cleared out. It's mostly full of backfill now. Uh, so I still have to climb up a little bit to get out of this. But you can see the timbers here that are pretty cool, especially the unmilled wood right here. I think that's particularly cool. Good stuff. Alright, uh, let's see, I gotta duck under this. Get up there. Not great. Just uh, it stops here. A lot of work for nothing. Um, this goes back and stops there. These timbers are holding a significant amount of weight. These are quite old as well. You see, those are just hacked out by hand. Uh, there's a little stope up there. See some gobbing down here. There's a rail there, it's stripped over. And that goes up there and stops. Huh. Okay, well, not too big, but these stopes must have paid well. Those old, old timbers. I love it. Well, obviously an old, old mine, but it's had some more recent work done on it as well. So, good stuff. Trying to look at those unmilled timbers. They're really cool. Alright. I'm tired. Very tired. I'm a very long hike getting in here. Uh, it's been getting dark for too much longer. We got a long hike back down the mountain, so I'll wrap this one up here.